The DJI Mavic Mini is small but powerful. With the right settings and techniques, it's easy to create cinematic drone footage. And I'm going to show you how. First things first, you will want to shoot at 2.7K. It's not 4K, but it does look better than regular HD video. And it's the highest resolution allowed by the Mavic Mini. We'll also be shooting at 30 frames per second. But later, in Premiere Pro, we will turn it into 24 frames per second. Why? Because it slows the video down slightly, making it more cinematic. Slow and steady movement is the key to cinematic video. The Cine Smooth Mode on the Mavic Mini will help by limiting the drone's speed and movement. To activate it, just type mode settings in the top left corner to change the flight mode. After that, head into the drone's main settings and go to advanced gimbal settings. Turn on the option to allow upward gimbal rotation. This enables one of my favorite techniques, tilting the camera up while the drone moves forward. This kind of shot is only possible in Cine Smooth Mode. We can also try moving the drone sideways. Or tilt all the way down for a bird's eye view. Either one gives you a uniquely cinematic look. Sometimes it's easier to let the drone move itself. Learning how to use quick shot mode is a great way to easily get more cinematic footage without being a master pilot. The droning shot reveals a wider perspective around you. Helix follows you in a way that would be extremely difficult for a regular person to copy. and the circle looks like something straight out of a Michael Bay movie. Be sure to experiment with all of the quick shot options to find one that might work for you. Setting the exposure is an important step for any video. On the Mavic Mini, you can even lock the exposure. Tap the EV icon on the bottom right. From here, you can manually adjust the exposure to get the correct brightness. You don't want it to look too bright or too dark. Once you have set the correct exposure, tap the AE lock icon on the bottom right. This will prevent sudden exposure changes in your video when it's recording. So when you are doing ground to sky shots, it remains consistent. One useful tip, try to underexpose the shot a bit by setting it to minus 0 0.3 or minus 0 0.7. It's easier to tweak brightness, highlights, and shadows when you're editing later on Premiere Pro. Just be sure to avoid overexposing the shot. Those are some of my top tips for shooting cinematic drone footage with the Mavic Mini. I hope you find these tips useful. For more, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Practice makes perfect.